Staying in Bloomington, visitors are returning to hotels in the area for work, leisure and travel, and it's having an impact on the local economy. Last night in the first reading of the next fiscal year's budget, Bloomington City staff projected a 94% increase in the hotel and motel tax revenue. WMBD's Austin Schick shows us how hotels are continuing to bounce back in Bloomington. Construction jobs in the area thanks to major expansions at Rivian and Ferrero as well as the return of events that attract out-of-towners are helping Bloomington hotels return to pre-pandemic numbers. $1.75 million projected in hotel sales tax revenue for the city of Bloomington in fiscal year 2023. Funds collected from hotel stays go into the city's general fund. That money pays for service equipment, materials, and staff contracts. Those are funds that we use to fund critical services uh, throughout our community, things that people have come to rely on on each and every day. Deputy City Manager Billy Taya says much of the increase is thanks to expansions at major companies like Rivian and Ferrero. And they're bringing in people to visit and tour and they're they're staying in, in our hotels as well. He says the increased stays say a lot about how people are viewing the community. And the fact that people are staying in our hotels and filling our hotels is an indicator of just where we are positioned you know as a community. I mean it says that people see us and people want to be here. It's not just work, the return of events, bringing in out of towners for the weekend, needing a place to stay too. Certainly within the last, you know, four to six months, so we're getting a little bit closer to where we were maybe in uh, 2019 before the pandemic hit. Matt Hawkins with Visit BN, the area's convention and visitors bureau says the IHSA dance competition over the next two weekends will bring thousands to Bloomington normal. With both events combined, roughly about uh, $1.5 million in economic impact. The city's budget numbers aren't finalized just yet and will be voted on by council in the next coming months.